Hi, hola. Oh. <laughs> so we're here to um, talk about what? Cuba. Cuba, hence our outfits. So we're talking about things that you should um, know before you enter Cuba. Right. So the first thing we are going to talk about is um, passports. You have to have a passport to go to Cuba from anywhere, right? Yeah. Yeah. You have to have a passport and what else? Um, I think you have to have a visa also. A visa. And so usually, how do you purchase a visa? Um, well, um, I work on a cruise ship. So for those of you who are going on a cruise, it's, it's very important for you to know that um, when you go on a cruise, you have to have um, a visa and that visa costs 75 US so you don't want to go there and um, not go to Cuba because that's gonna defeat your, your whole purpose of your, your vacation right so you want to go and you know enjoy Cuba because Cuba is a very nice place right um, I've been on the ship and I see some people come and they're like no I don't want to go outside because it's 75 dollars for a visa hey just pay 75 dollars and enjoy yourself right you know? um, so Make sure you have that visa because that visa is 75 US. So make sure you have that extra 75 dollars put aside. Don't touch it for the drinking <laughs> or nothing. Make sure you have that for your visa. Yeah. Well, I feel like if you paid at least, what, seven, eight hundred dollars to come on a cruise ship was 75 more dollars, right? Yeah. Yeah. So be prepared to get a visa. Um, I haven't traveled to Cuba outside of a cruise ship however you still will have to have one if you go there on a destination trip yeah and i guess you buy it probably from their customs and immigration when you first enter the country so regardless whether you go on a cruise ship or you do a destination trip you will have to buy a visa right all right so the next thing we're going to talk about is um money the money there yeah um <clears throat> when you go to cuba it's important for you to have money or anywhere you go around the world you you need money right however the u.s dollar is higher than the, the cuban um pesos or cooks but the government set it up in such a way that they get 13 percent of every dollar so so just to just to backtrack real quick there's two different currencies yes, in cuba yes. there's a peso peso and cooks Cooks, which which you'll see identified as C U C. Yes. Like so, ours is USD, theirs will be C U C. Yeah, so it's all it's important for you to do your conversion even before you get to Cuba. And right. the Cuban accept pounds or or euros or um Canadian. Or Canadian money as as their money. They they love that. So if you get those kind of money it will be important however if you're from the US one US is equivalent to $87 $87 if you go on a cruise ship when you go off when you go off the ship uh, before you before you pass after you pass the security sorry you will find there is a um, a bank right there that just convert your money right it is safe you can go there and just convert your money however you can convert it also on, on the ship yeah on the ship but they make it convenient for you to like it's literally as soon as you exit the ship and you go through their uh checkpoint which is kind of like a immigration checkpoint to check your visa th that bank is literally right there and you will pass that before you even enter the the town or the city so um it's not like somewhere you have to go out of your way you definitely will have access easy access what we have here is, is the two money. See it? This is the peso and this is the, the cook. What you want to have when you convert your money or when you get back any change from any taxi driver or any um, people from Cuba is the peso. So, sorry, the, the cook, the cook, the cook, the cook. <laughs> okay, so he's saying that the cook, yeah. you don't want to give the taxi driver the cook and then they give you back a peso because the peso is what? Isn't it less valuable? 
Is that right? We got to settle this. <laughs> got to settle this. I can take this part out. Just go <laughs> ahead. Yeah. So this is their two money. Okay. The pesos and the cook. What you want is the cook. Which is this. Yes. This is what you want mm -hmm. um, when you're traveling. Here's the other one that just says peso. Okay. Well, this one have the face. You don't want no money with the face. Any money with... Ernesto. With the face is not good. <laughs> you want the money with the... What do you call this? I don't know, I can't see it. It's like some kind of um, statue or building or monument. Pyramids. Oh, pyramids. Well, yeah. it doesn't look like a stand-up pyramid, but you want the money with, with, the, the, with, with the, the building on it. With the pyramids, yeah. The money with okay. the pyramids, they are the good money. Right, so, All no, right. so no to this one with Ernesto, and this one is the one you want. It's called the Cook, C-U-C, -C, right? So no to peso. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, when you go to Cuba, there are two different types of currency. There's a peso and there's a cook. The peso is a less valuable form of currency that you do not want. Right. We're not saying it's not acceptable, but let's just stay away from that altogether. Let's just assume that we're going there and transferring our money or exchanging our money for cook, right? So, one U.S. dollar equals how many cook? 87 cook. 87 cook so that's going to give you a lot of money right here i have five cooks five cooks mm -hmm. five cooks so this is good money in cuba you know the cuban will go excited for this money you know mm -hmm. um they want to see cooks and sometimes when you walk the street somebody gonna give you five us for five cook um you may end up losing you know a few dollars but you know um if you're lenient and you know the Cuban situation, you would just say, okay, go on with it. Right. And, you know, hold back your five, your five US, your five dollars, you know. Um, so, the cook is good money. The pesos, I have one dollar pesos there with the face on it. With the face. No money with the face is good. Not even my face is not good, okay? You want the money with the pyramids. See the pyramids there? Yes. The cooks with the pyramids. Mm -hmm. and, it, and it's green. This is good money, okay? So go for the green. <laughs> Are all of them green? All of the cooks yeah. gr have green? Yeah, yeah. Okay, just go for the green. Green means go. Red means stop. This is red mm -hmm. and it means stop. Do not mm -hmm. go with this one. <laughs> green means go. Okay, so you want this kind of right. money, okay? In Cuba. Okay, so we're going to move on from um, that. Just remember, it will be wiser to exchange your money before you go if you're going on a destination trip. If you're going on a cruise, you can exchange it on the ship or nine times out of 10, your ship is going to dock in a place that will be right by a bank. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have went with that. So the next thing, once you get into the streets, right? As soon as you're out there looking for uh, transportation or whatever you plan to do, you have to be aware of the local street vendors. They are right there waiting for your beautiful face. Yeah. that they know did not come from there. So yeah. you have to be aware of that. Yeah, you see, the, the Cubans know that a cruise ship is coming. Uh, right. You know, when they have, you know, visitors. So they'll be outside waiting. And Cuba is safe. It's, a, it's one of the safest places in the world, you know, that I know, know of. You know, there is basically no crime there, per se. You know, I know that they have crime, but, you know, um, it is a very safe place, you know, and the people are warm, they, they are loving, they, they are ready to welcome you, especially from America. Right. You know, they really adore your people. So when you go there, you will see for yourself. So it's just a heads up and a border view um, um, in advance to let you know, you know, that the people, they really want you to come, you know, mm. and enjoy yourself. So. <clears throat> and despite what local mainstream media tells you about places like Cuba being unsafe, um, we definitely have a different account of that from when, when I was able to go there to be with Hamlet while he was still working. We have a video about it. It's nightlife in Cuba, so check that video out. I'll try to link it in this video if I can. But um, I'm just saying that to say this. You, ha you have to go to see for yourself what it's like. You cannot believe what you see on TV. That place is under control. Yeah. Um, they're not 
uh, getting in trouble. Nobody's going to jail all the time. Even we were told that they barely have traffic accidents because they have so much control there. So don't let something that our news is telling you um, keep you from going to see for yourself and missing out on a good opportunity. And one thing that you, you should know and understand is that um, half of the Cuba population is military. Yeah. Anywhere you turn in Cuba, there's police. And, and the, the people, they're so scared of police, like um, the the mouse scared of the cat. Mm -hmm. They're very scared of police. You know, I, I've been there, I've dwelt with the locals, I've walked through the, the, the houses, you know, see how the people are living. The Cuban, they are, they are, they are loving people. That, that's one thing I can say. And they're so warm that they will even offer you their houses for, for, for $10. Mm -hmm. For $10. Mm -hmm. They will give up their houses and leave for you to stay there. To stay there for $10. Yeah. Just think about it. Like the cheapest Air Airbnb ever. Yeah. But um, also, uh, mentioning the police, also, do not photograph the police or the military. It can get you put in jail. So keep your camera off of their local law enforcement. It's not allowed. Um, I think those positions are so highly respected that you just don't don't get them on camera or don't be obvious about it because you will get locked up and the last thing you want to do in cuba is get locked up because we don't have an open embassy there that's the only reason why i thought i would mention it so the other thing we wanted to talk about after the local vendors um is gifts people in cuba um they're so behind and since we have a embargo in place mm -hmm. they don't have an opportunity to get a lot of things that we um uh, enjoy every day so bringing them gifts is it's a big deal. And what we mean by gifts, we don't mean like uh, a camera or a PlayStation or mm -hmm. um, money or, well, maybe money, but jewelry. We don't mean gifts like that. We mean gifts like... Um, like shampoo, soap, you know, um, toothpaste, you know, all those things that you, you know, you have in your, maybe your bathroom or yeah. whatever. <clears throat> Um, things that some of us may even take for granted because yeah. we have so such mm -hmm. easy access mm -hmm. and they don't yeah so, um like a, a ten dollars Nike shirt five dollars mm -hmm. one dollar mm -hmm. Nike shirt a slipper um, they, they appreciate those things the people that work in the customs mm -hmm. um, they, they don't see it as, a, as bribery they they just love gifts they love so gifts. you can take you know a gift with you yeah um, to give someone it, toilet paper toilet paper that's a big one toilet paper you know <clears throat> Even for yourself, you you should walk with a toilet paper. <laughs> you should walk with toilet, toilet paper. paper. Yeah. 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 If you're not on a cruise ship that you know you can go mm. back to and use yeah. the bathroom um, with toilet paper and soap and hand sanitizer, if you're going on a destination trip, pack some toilet paper. Pack some hand sanitizer. Take everything that you know you would use at home there because you are not going to be able to go down to Walgreens or Walmart <laughs> and get any of those things. Um, and take extra if you can because you know if somebody is nice enough to let you stay in their house It would be nice for you to leave them something like that uh, Toothpaste toilet paper, whatever. So that's another important thing is the Cubans like gifts mm. And those are gifts Which Is old Havana um, As far as getting around there. It's better to walk Yeah in you, that area. You can walk. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a very safe place like, like I said before um, Cuba is a safe place. Mm -hmm. However, when you walk in, um, there'll be somebody who may come and, hey, where are you from? America? Mm -hmm. And they will walk with you for the whole time. Yeah. If, if you know you give them maybe like $2 or five cook, mm -hmm. they'll they appreciate it. You, you mm -hmm. don't have to give them anything. Right. But, but they will walk with you and they will show you certain places. They will. And when they walk with you, they, they may ask you, do you want cigars? Yeah. Or something like that. And they take you in a place and the place looks scary. But it's not scary. It's like you're in some scary movie or something. It's not scary. It's just the way the Cubans are living. Right. Mm. Yeah. So, and again, them walking with you, um, it will be, you will probably be on an unsolicited tour, but just be nice. Um, they don't mean any harm. They're just, you know, trying to be helpful um, because you're different and everybody there is Cuban and nobody's from anywhere else. So having you come from somewhere else is exciting yeah. because they, they don't have like um other races living in their country so they're gonna know that you're obviously not from there all right so um also going on tours old havana again it's good to do walking 
you go and do some walking, to, like touring that area. But if you want to go more out into Havana, we would suggest car tours, yeah. classic car tours. Classic cars. Um, that's the big thing in Cuba. You would want to do that anyway because you see them up and down the road. Yeah, up and down the road. And they, they're safe, <laughs> like I said. Yeah. Cuba is safe. I, I, I won't stop stressing this. I, I may sound like a broken record. I just <laughs> keep saying this. It is safe. The classic cars, they're there waiting for you. They are. And you can ne negotiate. Mm -hmm. They may tell you, um, okay, 60 cook for two, for two hours or an hour and some. You say, no, I, I could only pay 50. They say, come, 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 mm. let's go. And they take you around. They take you all around Cuba right. for that money. Maybe. They're looking for you. Yeah, That's they're why they're out you. there. They're looking yeah. for you. They want to take you around. So we would suggest classic car tours. There are taxis and things like that there. But yeah. I think to get the full experience, you should get in a classic car. Classic car. Um, the, the yellow cabs belong to the, the government. Mm -hmm. And most of the classic cars, you know, they belong to, you know, the locals. Um, I think the... The yellow car, they are, they are cheaper. Yeah, they, mm -hmm. they are cheaper. But you know, you more enjoy Cuba more in a classic car. You right. Know? Yeah. Especially if it has a convertible, you're getting like the experience, like you're living like you're, the culture. So I would say classic car is the way to go. So once you're in those classic cars, some of the most popular places to go and things that you should see while you're there, uh, we'll just go over some attractions that we saw that are in some of our videos and that I'm sure that um, Hamlet and his co-workers suggest to people when they're on a cruise, places they should see. The first one is, I have Revolutionary Square. Yeah, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. That's where, um, you know, um, Castro had it, or had his big office, mm -hmm. very high tech. That's where you, you can see most of those guys who um, were revolutionaries. Mm -hmm. My, my, my pronunciation is right. <laughs> Revolution. I don't even know how you say it. Re Revolutionaries. Yeah, okay, cool. Y'all yeah, know what he's saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, those guys, you know, who actually, you know, fought for Cuba and, you know, they have the differences even with, with Castro. Mm -hmm. um, there's where you're going to see, you know, everything. There's where um, Castro used to come and speak to the people. Yeah. Where he got, uh, you know, how many millions of people and he speak to them. And I've learned when he was speaking there, every Cuban had to be present. If you're not present, he take 80, 87% of, of your money. Wow. Your salary from you, which the Cuban only make like, maybe like 12 cooks a month. Right, so he's taking all your money. Like you already have nothing yeah, and then yeah, he's going to yeah. take. So you were required to be at these... Um, Revolutionary Square events. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. interesting. So, it's an interesting place to go. Yeah. Um, the next place I have is Malacom. Yeah, the Malacom is, is, is beautiful. That's where it's very beautiful. you can see the water coming over. Um, you'll, see, you'll see so many people just sitting out there. Yeah. It's, it's an overlook of the ocean, basically. Yeah. Um, and it's a long stretch yeah. of, I don't know, what do you call it that they're sitting on? It's just like a wall. Like a, a concrete wall. wall. Yeah, concrete wall. And when you, you'll know it when you see it because when you ride past it or walk past it, you'll see so many people just hanging out there. Yeah. But the water is so strong in that area that yeah. it literally comes over mm -hmm. and up. I think when we had the, um, the hurricane, mm -hmm. I think um, it actually had some damage there because you know the water can just come over like that right and they say you can look over there and probably see Key West maybe in the night because it's just 90 miles Key West is just 90 miles away from, from which is from, so crazy to from me from Cuba yeah yeah when I yeah. heard that I thought yeah yes. the Cubans love 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 Miami right so Malacon is a place to go because it's it's just really scenic mm -hmm. and we also have like a sh little clip of that in one of our videos one of our first videos when we went over there kind of showing that area um, but it's so beautiful. It just looks like a place where you can do all kinds of stuff. You just hang out, medita meditate, whatever. So that would be our next suggestion. The third one is Hotel International. Yeah, Hotel International is beautiful. Very beautiful. Very romantic. Yes. If very, I, very warm. Um, welcoming. Yeah. It just looks relaxing. And it also has a really beautiful um, back area that's overlooking the ocean um, that people... A lot of people were out there hanging out, so it has that to offer as well. That you can get that beach looking view right there. Yeah. So yeah, that's a that's a really good place as well. And you know that's that's where um, President Obama spent most of his time when he was in Cuba. 
Yeah. So we had to go there. We wanted to be wherever Obama went. Mm. So we visited there. That's in our video as well. So, um, yeah, I think if I ever go to Cuba on a destination trip and I have the money, I want to stay there. Yeah. <laughs> you want to stay there? Yeah, yeah. yeah I want yeah. to stay there. We want to stay there. It's a very, very nice place. It's yeah. very nice. Okay, so on the next um, suggestion, we would say go into the flea market, like where you can shop, um, where they have everything there. Yeah. Like, yeah, everything. I can't even begin to tell you what you can find there. It's definitely a souvenir place. Mm -hmm. If you're looking to bring stuff home for people who didn't travel with you or who did, it's that type of place. Mm -hmm. And if you go on a cruise, it's within walking distance, like maybe like seven minutes. Mm -hmm. you, know? you, as you come off the ship, you know, you cross the pedestrian, you just keep on your, on your, let me see, left hand side and you walk all the way, you cross the street or anybody, the free market is just right there. Yeah. And everything is there that you need. Everything is everything. there. I mean, I would definitely suggest making sure you have enough cook, <laughs> have enough money, um, and be ready to uh, have a lot of people offering you the better deal. Even my little hat here, <laughs> I get it by the free market. Yeah. See, it's nice. You know? Very, that, very, very, very cute, cute when it gets Yeah, them. it is. It yeah. is. And um, they have all kinds of things like that. Hats, uh, t-shirts, artwork, which we have a piece of art here that we... I mean, this is like a for real life painting. Life painting that we get from... Yeah, it has classic car and some kind of probably important building in the background. Yeah. Um, but they have uh, artwork of... It looks like um, mother, like a mother and a child type artwork, celebrities, mm -hmm. um, beautiful artwork of women and their hair. There's just so many things in there that you could definitely find something if you, uh, if art is your thing. Um, also, did this come from there? Yeah. This is one of the, some of you guys have seen this um, in our family and then some of you have not. These are the types of things that are floating around there. Little handcrafted items. Um, I don't have anything else. Oh, Cohiba. I think she's from there. Yeah. Yeah. The lady, um, yes. put it closer so they can see it. Yeah. Look, cigar smoking ladies. That's true. You really do see those types of ladies in Cuba. <laughs> it's trying to... <laughs> so yeah, that kind of stuff. Um, this tricky magic box. I'm not going to show y'all how to open it because we may have to trick somebody later. But yeah, those types of things. So make sure you check out the flea market. Also, um, the Statue of Christ. Yeah. That's the next thing that would be an awesome place to see and take pictures and yeah, stuff like that. Pictures, yeah, take yeah. yeah. So that would be um, probably one of those things that you need to get, make sure you um, see while you're in your classic car um, tour. That's where um, Shea have, have his house. Shea, if you don't know, he was one of the revolutionaries. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's him right here on, the, on this morning right here. Yeah, he, his house is right there, but I don't think you can really go close to the house or see anything inside it. You know, mm -hmm. it is very, um, well, what do I want to say? It's probably like um, very private, private and closed yeah, off. Closed off, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, and then if you're um, a person that's into reading and um, what am I trying to say? Authors, like famous authors, Hemingway's house is there. Yeah. I heard it's really interesting to go to because Hemingway was obsessed with his weight. So he would weigh himself every day. There's a mm -hmm. scale there and he would weigh himself every day and literally record the weights on the wall. So you would see like random pounds, like 200 pounds, 199. I don't know. Just those are examples, but everything is pretty much how it looks. Um, his typewriter is there um, in some kind of standing position because he has a really interesting like story about his physical health that he was so obsessed with. So that's another place to go It's Hemingway's house. So we would definitely suggest that. Um, and again, all of those attractions are accessible by Classic Car, so make sure you check that out if you go over there. And um, I have here that the Classic Car, you say you can get it for maybe 50 bucks. 50 bucks, yeah. A taxi, maybe 45 bucks. So see, there, that confirms everything. Just mm. spend the extra few dollars and go in the Classic Car. Souvenirs that you want to bring back for yourself or for other people that are important, um, like people are excited about these items when you bring them back from Cuba because Cuba's known for some of these things. So the first thing being a cigar. Yeah. Um, if you go to Cuba, Cuban cigars are important. They are uh, what people want. They want to smoke them. They want to have them. <laughs> There's a cigar there. It this, came. This is a Cohiba. Yeah, that's Cohiba. Like um, the young lady that was on the 
the little magnet. This is the case that it came in. I didn't smoke it. This is for Cohiba. <laughs> this is the case that it came in, and it was mm. about what? Twenty-five. About twenty-five cigars in here. Um, we've passed a few out to people as souvenirs, mm -hmm. and um, they can go. They can be really cheap, or they can be really expensive. I don't know how much this cost. Hamlet bought this. Um, I, I pay sixty cook, sorry, but um. Sixty. Um, let me warn you that. Sometimes you're gonna meet people on the street. You don't know who is who. Um, it is, Cuba is a safe place. Some people walk in the factory and they try to make a little hustle on the side. So mm -hmm. they, they sneak the cigars out from the factory and they want to sell it to you. But sometimes you don't know who is who. So it's safer for you to buy it in an in authentic store. Yeah. Um, like a cigar store. A cigar store. Um, like an obvious cigar store. Yeah, yeah. And this was the cigar, actually, the Cohiba that Obama smoked when he was in Cuba. Uh, by Raul Castro. Raul Castro gave him this, which Raul Castro is the brother of Fidel Castro, so he gave Obama this to smoke, the Cohiba. It is the best cigar uh, we can find in Cuba. It's maybe like $25 for one or so. Yeah. 25 US. Yeah, and it's very tightly packed, so you have to remember, like, we're not smokers, so when we first tried to smoke it, we tried to smoke it kind of like this. And I mean, of course, we had to cut this end off, but um, Hamlet was told later that you really should rub it to, or roll it, I'm sorry, to get the tobacco loose um, so that you can actually have like flow because you, otherwise you're gonna like, you're gonna keep trying to pull and pull and pull and then you're gonna pop a blood vessel right here in your head from trying to get something off of this. So just remember that if you ever go to Cuba, this is the Romeo and Juliet, the love cigar. Maybe when you smoke it, maybe you'll get some kind of love. I don't yeah, know. we should smoke it. Some kind of affection, romance, yeah. romance you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so this is this is how it look. Yeah, it's a very good cigar too. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> wow, there's love. Ooh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, <laughs> silly. Yeah, the Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, cigar, very good. So that's another, we were talking about rum. Yeah, they are having a rum. Yeah. And he paid, you said about $7? $7, yeah. Yeah. For, you know, one of these. You know. Yeah, so you can actually get maybe two, three bottles, you know, bring them back, share it with a friend, drink it, taste it. It's nice. I've tasted it. Yeah. I've tasted it. Yeah, um, and then we, do we make something with it or was it something else? Uh, we made um, some rum punch with it. We made rum punch with it. And, um, good. When you go to Cuba to try the mojitos, you know, um, some of them are very sweet. So if you don't want it sweet, you could tell them you know you don't want too much sugar. But you know, it's very nice. They said that's their thing. I'm, I'm not into that minty thing, minty drinks. But they say mojitos is Cuba's. Mm. That's their thing. So mm. that's a good thing to try. And um, that's pretty much all we have. We have a few other little things that we wanted to make sure we remind you of or suggestions um two more locations to go see is um a beach there are beaches everywhere obviously because it's an island but beach um how you say it varadero yeah is um supposed to be the b most beautiful beach there um i heard that it's not a lot of it's, you're not gonna have a lot of traffic there so if you want to relax it's one of those types of beaches where you're not going to be troubled by people who live there. You'll be able to just chill and lay out on the beach if that's your thing or um, whatever it is you choose to do. It's not a real busy type of beach. It's one of those places where you can take a good nap. So <laughs> that's one. And then there's a Cuba has a lot of waterfalls, much like a lot of the Caribbean islands do that I never knew. But they have waterfalls there that people go and like. Uh, bathe in not a real bath but just you know like a natural bath and the uh, El Nico is the one that we um, were told we didn't get to visit it but we were told that it's it's one of the main top five waterfalls so if you can get a waterfall visit on your list we would recommend that as well you just have to make sure before you go you know how far these places are from where you're staying or if you're on a cruise ship um, how long will it take you because your ship may not be there long enough for you to visit it or you want to make sure you plan out your day so that you don't you know get left in Cuba so yeah anything else no this box is very nice it's a very <laughs> um, magic box 
It's a magic box that is very nice. Um, I like it. it. It's very tricky to open, you know. Like you, you get somebody like this, look at it. And they say, no, this is a ju just chunk of wood, but no, it's not chunk of wood. Mm. <laughs> you have to know how to open it. You know, it's a secret. You know. See, it's open like this. Make sure you get one. Get your magic box. Get your magic box. You can you can hide anything inside of it, and nobody knows. You can take it back, put something in it, and you can make fun of your family, your friends, whatever. <laughs> school or whatever you may fill up them it's very nice so make sure you get one please get a magic box he has uh tricked a lot of people in the last few months with that box and so um a few other suggestions that we have before we go just to make sure that you know how to prepare is to um make sure you carry some hand sanitizer or some sanitizing wipes baby wipes whatever be sure to carry those things with you because washing your hands, I'm not going to say you don't have access to washing your hands, but you may not have soap or paper towels. So I would suggest carrying, walking with that stuff if you can. And toilet paper. Toilet paper. Toilet yeah. paper is a big one. And um, bottle of water. Towel. A towel, yes. Bottle of water. Bottles of water. Um, mm -hmm. Make sure you dress really comfortable there. Mm -hmm. um, don't be too flashy. Yeah. No jewelry. Yeah, don't. <laughs> No don't be out there with your gold chain on and your rings and this and that just you know regular nice walking mm -hmm. shoes cool clothes mm -hmm. um cuba does have little spurts where it will rain yeah um but then it's it's gone it's not nothing heavy it's just like a little shower yeah. and then you're back to the warm but it's not too hot there I, w I wasn't too hot there in october i don't know about the rest of the year he would know that better than me it's probably some hot months yeah, there, hot, but, hot, hot. Yeah, yeah, but I, I didn't feel too hot. I mean, it was hot, but it wasn't like unbearable. Yeah. Um, so that's why we suggest the water, just depending on what time of year you go. And um, I think that's about it. Do you have anything else you want people to say? Just or go and, here. I'm sorry. Just go and enjoy yourself. You know, yeah. it's a very nice place. Just let loose, you know, in Cuba, which is... Um, the a historical place. It is a historical place. Being locked out for like fifty something years, yeah. you know, from Americans. I'm from Saint Vincent, so I had no problem to go to Cuba. Cuba was always open for us because, <laughs> you know, my prime minister and Castro was, like, you know, amigos, you know, and plenty of people from my country studying in Cuba. Uh, even my best friend, you know, which is Aluko. You shout he, out to Aluko. Yeah, <laughs> he walked. He studied there for four years and. He studied civil engineering and he have a degree and you know he walked with the Cubans, the Cubans below international airport. He speaks fluent Spanish. Yeah, he speaks good good Spanish and he have two kids in Cuba. Um, yes. so Yeah, so and, and studying in Cuba, this is a fun fact, it's free. Yeah. Uh yeah. the education is free. Food is College, free. We mean like university is free. Yeah. Um, not like paying uh eighty thousand dollars to go to college and then you're in debt when you get out. So um, studying in Cuba would be awesome and this is the time to go to Cuba right now to me because it one day it will not be like how it is now yeah. and I think that it's this is the time to see it however um, our current administration and he gets no shot out on this channel but our current administration um, has closed the embassy there so I think if you you can still go to Cuba but I would suggest that you get on a cruise ship and go to Cuba first because I think you're better protected going on a cruise ship um, our embassy is closed there so if you needed help or if you lost your passport if you needed something from the US Embassy you don't have that but on the cruise ship at least they can try to help you communicate with you know your issue uh, with the states so I would suggest going there but by way of cruise ship first and then hopefully at some point you can do a destination trip over there with no problem but it's it needs to be seen now um because one day cuba is going to catch up 50 something years and it won't be the same things there that that we see now yeah so go now 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 is the time now is the time to go and see it in its whole entire entity exactly and um authenticity yeah and um authenticity authenticity <laughs> <laughs> I said it was wrong. Um, <laughs> Y'all know what he means. <laughs> it's his accent. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's the time to go now. Um, hopefully they'll leave the town and like some of the streets because it's like brick paved and it's really like classic and it has character. So hopefully that will stay to attract people to come. Most celebrities are already gone. They, they uh, have. Done, done their part, so. Yeah. So let's go and 
See Cuba. Go see Cuba. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Leave a comment below if you like these types of videos, if you feel like it was informative. Like this video if you like seeing Hamlet's face on this video <laughs> because he's never on our videos. Mm -hmm. He is the person, the reason why we're Neds. Mm -hmm. So let us know that you want to see more of his face. Let us know if you love his accent. Um, what else? Just go see Cuba. Man. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> Bye, guys. Peace out.